For 10 million dollars, you can buy the most expensive chess set in history. What? What do you mean 10 million? How, how can a chess set cost 10 million dollars? Okay, well that's one way to start the video. Today, we're watching the most expensive chess sets in history. But for one dollar, you can buy this foldable chess board of- Ah, that's more like it. That's my kind of chess. ...of Amazon that comes with cheap plastic checkers pieces. You either have to use rocks or- Hey, and even better! Checker pieces? Wait, never mind, you don't get chess pieces. Pretend your checkers pieces are chess pieces and play by memory. I mean, hey, if Magnus can do it, why can't you? That's not a question you ask, because if Magnus can do it, why can't you? It's, uh, <laughs> There's many things I can't do, okay? <laughs> this video, we will be looking at the cheapest chess sets starting from $30 all the way up to $10 million. I mean, if you have the money, why not? We will also be looking at the $500 chess set, the $1,000 chess set, okay, the $500,000 more... chess Okay, never mind. I was going to say these are more affordable, but never mind. $5 million chess set, ending up with a $10 million chess set. We've $10 already went over the Amazing. fact that with $1, you can barely buy a board and some checkers pieces. But for $30, you can buy a pretty nice everyday home use chess. Okay, this is bad. $3? You have the pieces, you have the board. 15 inches, how much is that? Like 37 and a half centimeters? That's not too bad. Board that comes with every piece you need to start learning the game and enjoy some chess with your friends at home. The pieces will definitely not be made with the highest wood quality, and they are yeah, mass produced for the average player. However, moving on from the $30 chess set, we go into the official chess set used by FIDE in tournament. Well, that's a bit of a jump, but it's, <laughs> it's for no gradation. <laughs> it's either 30 or 500, that's uh, it's a bit of a jump. This one costs $500 per set. These chess sets are hand carved from the finest wood trunks. Much of the value of a high quality chess set comes down to how well just one piece is made. There are less than 10 people in the whole world. For some reason, this doesn't very much scream uh, quality at me. Or maybe they can have better conditions for how much one chess set costs. The factory produces only 250 chess sets each year. Wow. And the artists train over four to five years in order to learn like how nothing, to shape that's each five per week. Trunks of wood are brought in, dried, and then cut into small blocks in order to be put on a rotating machine. Rotating machine. It's called the lathe. And then each piece is hand carved carefully, taking into consideration the exact measurements needed for each piece. And also making sure that each piece is identical and a copy of its sister. Well, we're not identical. One mistake well. in the carving will lead to the loss of a piece and having to start again. Each carving is intentional, from the hair on the knight's tail to the curve of its neck, and it must. What, what do you mean every carving is intentional? It's, of course, it's intentional. Everything you do is intentional. It's not an accident. It's not like it appears from nowhere. It, someone has to do it. Someone that carves it. But it's just as important that all four knights in the set look totally uniform. Otherwise, the set altogether won't be nearly as valuable. It is no wonder that these chess sets cost $500. But a simple change detailed. can turn this $500 chess set into a $1,000 chess set. And that change is the addition of an electronic coil, making it possible ah, to... That's an amazing return on investment. You put some metal and double the price. Jumping from the $1,000, we have this beautiful $500,000 wow. chess set. Wow, that's a lot the of diamonds. diamond set. The royal diamond set. I, I guess that's right. <laughs> this is the seventh most expensive chess set ever sold worldwide. The Royal Diamond Chess Set stands oh. as the pinnacle of luxury and extravagance. Like it has been created by a renowned French artist, Bernard Macquin, and a total of 30 jewelers spent over 4,500 hours. 4,500 hours? That's a lot of time. Well, that's only like 100 an hour. What? That's so cheap. That doesn't make sense. That's for quite the cost of diamonds. Huh? They use approximately 9,900 black and white diamonds, 1,168 grams of 40 white gold, and 186 grams of silver. Each intricately designed piece yeah. is a masterpiece in its own right. Meticulously crafted to showcase the brilliance and sparkle of the finest diamonds. This but so this far. is nothing compared to the $10 million chess set that we will look at later in this video. But I don't first, know, I like have the this diamond $1 million one. chess Oh! Look at this, I, I changed my mind. This one is my favorite. It's like marble. It's green. And it's pink. And it's... But the pieces are kind of not very intuitive. But it looks nice. This is the fourth most expensive chess set ever sold in the world. The Battle of Issus chess set brings to life one of the history's most iconic conflicts. One of history's most iconic conflicts. Why have we never heard of this? Why do I kind of doubt that it's one of history's most iconic uh, conflicts? Battle of Issus. On well, this Wikipedia page. It barely scratches the surface, it's very short. I only involved like 60,000 people. Okay, he's just embellishing her story, it's fine, it's fine. Inspired by the historic Battle of Issus between Alexander the Great and Darius III of Persia, this chess set transports player to a pivotal moment in ancient warfare. Providing not only a high quality touch, material, and feel to the game, but an eye feast to both players using the pieces. Yes. Each crafted yes, piece represents good. key figures from the battlefield, making you feel as if you're the leader of your troops in a grueling battle. 
this extraordinary chest. Oh yes, chest. the key figure on the battlefield, the tower, and the ship on the battlefield. Those are some of the key figures on the battlefield. Crafted by the hand of a master jeweler, the exquisite oh. quality of its manufacturer is showcased in each and every detail. Every 14 karat gold game piece is different, oh, encrusted with semi-precious stones and brightly hued enamel. What was once one of the most important battles of the ancient world Look at this elephant! Look at him! He's blue! He has squiggles on him! At Alexander's queen side is Queen Athena, the great goddess of war and wisdom. While the winged Persian god of war stands as Darius's queen pe- Wait, what? Man's a queen? They were very progressive back in those times. <laughs> Warships sailing over waves and massive elephants take the places of bishops. And the ship has a dragon on it. This is an epic set. Not a single detail has been overlooked from the laces of the soldiers' boots to the tiny feathered arrows in their quivers. But that's oh. not all. Even though the pieces are incredibly detailed they, in their shapes, they, move. they, they are move. also mechanical they actually and move. can move. Well, one of these is a lot of money, but the pieces move. That's, that's epic. Malachite base that, when twisted, triggers a different movement in each individual piece. Up Through the simple down, movement, down. Alexander lowers his sword, archers stands their bows, and horses shake their manes, which makes the whole world come to life. A product of over 14,000 man hours over the course of a decade. 14,000 man hours? A decade? 1,400 hours? It's like four hours a day. Four hours a day for 10 years for someone to make this chess set. How? Perhaps the most complex and extravagant ever created, and well worth the million dollar price tag. But now, at three million dollars, we have this beautiful piece of art called Game of Kings set. Okay. It takes two years to craft, weighs more than a ton, and contains more than 110 pounds Wait, of silver. Inspired by the pounds? ancient Aztec what? and Mayan civilization. 110 pounds of that's like 50 kilograms. Like, what? Over a ton? How big is it? This work of art has been exhibited for a number oh. of years at museums and gallery exhibitions. Okay, this the silver finishing oh, is completed look at by this. the renowned it's actually giant. Albert Studio in Mexico. The kings Mexico, and queens are made of black and red obsidian and finished with silver and gold vermeil. The bishops are hunters, the knights are jaguars, the rook modeled after Tlaloc, the Aztec rain god. It looks very square. It looks like a Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> modeled after Tlaloc, the Aztec rain god, and since the Aztecs were known for being very skilled with the bow and arrow, the pawns are archers. Is he bow like and that? since the Aztecs were known for being very skilled with the bow and arrow, it's not bad, but okay. Nearly ten tons of obsidian was used to carve ornate pieces and create ten a stone chess table. But even though this chess set is a work of art, this next one is labeled. Wait, that was the most expensive one. That was really. It's a Bugatti of chess What's this one? Valued at a whopping five million dollars. It is called the Pearl Royale chess set. This set was oh. designed and created by Australian jewelry maker Colin Byrne. Byrne said that he creates genuine alchemy by turning natural objects into gold with a secretive forming process he invented. What are you talking about? He did not discover I, I don't believe that. At that point, he would just be a multi billionaire. Colin Byrne net worth. Colin Byrne. Is that him? There is no image. And the soccer player. That's one guy. He has some pretty epic things on his uh, website, but, but for some reason, I don't believe that he's found a way to turn stuff into gold. As a young child, Byrne regularly played chess with his cousins, so his parents gave him a beautiful Staunton chess set which he really loved. Thinking back on those fun times, oh, Byrne found himself driven. drawn to the idea of creating the most beautiful chess set in the world. He finally decided to start his project in 2008. He I was don't think he's that far off. To, this is a pretty, pretty nice chess set. I think he's pretty well off on his goal. Creative work with unmatched South Sea pearls, so naturally, they became the inspiration. It was also important to Byrne for the design to be inspired by the Staunton 1849 set. Ah, Byrne wanted the beautiful set to fit the royal standard. Sense. That is why the world's most beautiful diamonds and rich blue sapphires sit upon the king and queen. Colin Byrne's dream has come true after creating the Pearl Royale chest set, this. one of the world's finest chest sets ever. Crafted in solid 18 karat white gold and over 510 carats okay. of GIA certified diamonds. 510 carats of GIA certified diamonds. I don't know what that means, but it's epic. The heads are made of South Sea pearls, and the king and queen are accented with triple A Cylon blue sapphires. This chest set is definitely one that screams five million dollars. But if yeah, you but take that number and double it, we get wait, to wait, a Wait, wait, but how, how, they look very similar. How do you distinguish these pieces? Look, they're very similar. I, it's the pearls, the pearls are different, but apart from that, more or less the same. But now onto the most expensive one. But if you take that number and double it, we get to our final and most expensive chest set ever, valued 9. at 9.8 million dollars. The Jewel what? Royale set. This set is the most expensive and the rarest. Wait, it was not actually produced for various reasons and remains an unfinished product. This extraordinary creation represents the epitome of luxury chess sets. Wait, why was it made? Captivating the attention of enthusiasts and collectors. Well, it looks nice, but it doesn't cost like eight million. It can't cost the most expensive chess set. It doesn't exist. Made of 165 grams of 18 karat yellow gold and is embellished with 73 rubies and 146 diamonds. It's worth more than $140,000 alone. 
The knights, rooks, bishops, and pawns are, are also all covered with sapphires, yellow gold, rubies, and emeralds, making this the most expensive chess set in history. But you know something that is not that expensive and is actually free? The subscribe button. And you know what? He's right. The subscribe button is free. So click it. Because today we found out what the most expensive chess set is. 